We are creating a mural to inspire the community. Uh, it was birthed out of the recent events that's happening with the Black Lives Matter movement and George Floyd and even Breonna Taylor, different people like that who have lost their lives recently. So we wanted to do something that spoke to our children in our community that's inspirational. Our train of thought was we wanted something that was speaking to the youth. Uh, and we also wanted it to be something that was ambiguous so that everyone who looks at it, every black kid that looks at it can relate to it. What's so significant about this mural is that the kid is on one knee. Colin Kaepernick started off on one knee to bring a light to a situation. The police officer was on one knee to bring the problem to the forefront. The kid in this mural is on one knee to bring a positive message. And that is the full circle. And to those that look up on it, have their own ideas and their own thoughts. But emotions will be moved. And that is our intention of why we put up Mules of Inspiration. I mean, I just think that this would just bring so much pride to Kansas City, Kansas, to be honest. And you can even just hear it. We're not even finished with it. The first day that we were out here, people didn't even know what we were doing. They were just driving by clapping because they were just happy to, to see something being done. So I, I really just want this to be a starting point uh, about having serious conversations about what else can we do to bring life and businesses and more resources down to Quindaro. Uh, and so uh, we believe like art fills in the gaps where you don't have words on what to say. So, you know, long after, you know, me and my dad are done, people are still going to see this. They're going to add their own stories to what this means to them. That's another thing about art is that everyone has a different interpretation. So we hope that people find this like as a, a, a source of pride. They come and take pictures in front of it. It just makes them want to be here and, you know, give resources to this area. When you think about Black Lives Matter, people only think about police brutality, but that's a part of it. It's not the totality of the movement. It's Black Lives Matter in all aspects. So we're talking about police brutality, we're talking about health care, we're talking about education, we're talking about spiritual and uh, physical support, all of that encompassed into one. So when I think about this mural, I, I really think that it takes it to the context of like Quindaro matters, you know, the kids that we have that are growing up here, like you matter. And because you matter, then, then we should do whatever we can to just make sure that our community is flourishing.